Hey, welcome back to Gear Up with Greg's. My name's Lee, and I work on the order desk here at Greg Distributors. Today, we're gonna focus on the nitty gritty hard work that goes into masonry hole cutting and how Norton makes it a whole lot easier. Concrete, brick, limestone, and other hard building materials can wreak havoc on your tools. That's why Norton designed a diamond core bit that's perfect for drilling holes in these sturdy materials. These bits have large, laser-welded segments that are made to hold up to even the toughest of jobs, which is why they're typically used for masonry projects and construction. The type of tool you use largely depends on the size of hole you're drilling. If you're cutting a hole between two and four inches in brick or other soft material, a hand-held core drill is a portable, lightweight solution. However, if you've got a bigger task at hand, or if you're drilling in harder materials such as concrete, you'll need to look into a core drilling rig. Handheld core drills like the HHDET 1800 are compact, allowing for easier handling and ideal results in confined spaces. This core drill features a smart electronics motor from Cardi which means there will be no overheating of electrical components in this tool. With water attachments and a rugged carrying case, the 1800 core drill is the perfect tool for moving from task to task. But when you're taking on a big job, the handheld drill might not cut it. That's when you need to turn to the DR620 core drill rig. While this tool isn't as ideal in tight spaces, its versatility is where it really shines. The pivoting column makes drilling on a sloping surface a breeze, while the ceiling jack and vacuum pump mean that no matter where you need to drill, your unit is stabilized. With the capability to handle bits from two to 10 inches and a wheel attachment for easy transport, the DR620 can handle any job you throw at it. Now, there are a few things you want to watch out for when using a core bit or hole cutting tool. First, it's important to know that just like most heavy duty diamond saw blades, most core bits need to be used wet. This means that you need to keep a constant supply of water on hand to make sure that the hole you're cutting is being flushed of abrasive materials. This will create a slurry, a mixture of dust and water. Using water not only reduces dust and lubricates, but it also helps to cool down the tool that's working overtime. However, don't use too much water when drilling. Too much water will wash away the dust before it is able to become a slurry. While this might not sound like a bad thing, this abrasive slurry is what's helping to expose new diamonds in your core bit. And since you're likely using water to cool the bit, you'll want to make sure that you're also using a grounded electrical outlet with the appropriate voltage and GFCI protection. After all, electricity and water don't exactly mix. If you are drilling a dry hole, you will want to be sure to pull back every so often to keep the dust from building up in your hole. If you don't, this might lead to something called binding. Binding is when the core bit gets stuck in the material you are trying to drill. This sudden stop can lead to a nasty shock when the drill you're using keeps going, but the core bit stays still. Very often, this results in operator injury. Then, you want to make sure that the bit is slowly lowered into the cut and that the entire circumference of the core bit penetrates the drilling surface before adding any additional pressure. Once the bit has started the hole, use steady pressure on the bit while drilling, but don't force the bit into the material, and don't stop the flow of water. Otherwise, the bit might overheat and you'll end up damaging the bit or workpiece. These core bits can handle some tough jobs and are able to drill through steel reinforced concrete, hard bricks, terrazzo, and many more materials. But if you find that the drilling rate suddenly decreases, you've probably got some dull segments on your hands. This means you need to replace the bit. And if you need to replace your core bit, 
Don't worry, we've got a great selection, ranging from one inch to 14 inches in size. Or if you're just getting started and aren't sure what size you need, be sure to give us a call and one of our friendly customer service staff, like myself, would be more than happy to help you out. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below or visit our website at gregdistributors.ca. Thank you for tuning in to another Gear Up With Greg's. Again, I'm Lee, and from all of our awesome staff here, we hope you have a great Canadian day.